this all started um, from a debate that myself and Sean were having online through, uh, through Twitter. Um, some of you may know that uh, I have had you know, various debates with people online about this whole process, and I tried to maybe get people to say, well, look, if you wanted to organize something, you know, let, let's do it, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll attend. And, and Sean got the ball rolling in very short notice last week, and, and here we are today. So I just want to say fair play to Sean, uh, you know, for organizing this, and to thank Michael John and the guys here uh, in the Science Gallery, which I think is a, it's an amazing space, and I think it's very conducive to the type of debate that we want to have here today. I also want to thank uh, Paul and Tom as well, uh, you know, for coming along, and to Simon, um, can I say, Simon, I, I'm not, I, I just want to extend the hand of friendship to you, okay, and that, that we can try and move on maybe now uh, and move this into a more maybe consensus-driven space. Um, I think the debate so far perhaps has been one where we've all had the swords uh, maybe drawn and maybe we need to, and I would acknowledge this, that maybe now we need to put away the swords back into the scabbards and see how we can... Uh, we can move on in this debate because I think ultimately in, in the very short space I, I have in the three to five minutes we have what we call the consultation paper and really this is an independent process uh, Owen O'Dell and, and his team uh, Stephen Headley and Patricia McGovern have come up with 86 questions that will form potentially the basis of how we legislate for this space uh, in this country you know, for the future. And there's a little bit of a, philosoph a, a philosophical debate as well, if you, if you will, because we have to ask ourselves, what kind of internet do we want? Uh, or how can we remove any barriers to innovation? That's the key question. I know that there are people here who will say that the signing of the statutory instrument moved us backwards. But the advice on that was that we were relying on two attorneys general for the advice in relation to the Charlton judgment, and it restored us to a position that pertained in 2000 with the signing of the Copyright uh, Act. But now what we're trying to do uh, is to move into a space through the copyright and consultation process where, for example, we look at things like, you know, the establishment of a copyright council. Uh, we look at things like fair use. We ask ourselves, you know, through the 86 questions, where exactly do, do we want to be as a country? And if it is the case, and it's an independent process, that recommendations are made by Owen O'Dell for, you know, for legislative change, then we in government have to take account of, of that because it's based on the consultation process and then move into that space. But we also have to have regard, no matter what piece of legislating you're doing, that you have to have regard to the fact uh, that you have to be adherent to any EU legislation uh, that is there. Now, it could be that the recommendations that arise from this consultation will put us way ahead of the curve in terms of where we want to go. Uh, but ultimately, uh, if that is the case, then it would be for us to try and, uh, you know, basically try and influence the legislation at, a, at, at an EU level. So really today, for me personally, uh, what, what I want to do is to ensure that, we, you know, we, the copyright consultation review becomes the, the, the working document, if you will, by which we, we can move the, the debate forward, that everybody here on this platform and in this room and everybody within the Twitter sphere, uh, you know, engages in a way on this one. I can see by the smirks on some people's faces already that there's probably some interesting tweets coming in <laughs> <laughs> about me, okay? So uh, um, I, I, I have a fairly thick skin. I'm a politician, okay? Uh, so, you know, I, I never take anything that's said about me uh, personally in this space, I, you know, I, and I will engage with everybody. In fact, I've endeavored to try and engage with everybody as best I can uh, on, on this one. I, I'm going to keep persevering no matter what, and I'll take what's coming to me. Uh, but really, I do believe that because we are a small country, I think the time is now for me to take stock. I've learned from the past number of months that I think the way to drive legislation forward uh, is to engage the online community. We need to move beyond the traditional uh, methods of consultation through advertising in the traditional media and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, we need to, to, to embrace, if you will, the online community and, and, and get you guys as part of the consultation process. So that's why the Irish Internet Association have a, a process going around the 86 questions. 
Uh, my department, DJEI, uh, has a process around the 86 questions, but most importantly, Ono Dell, uh, hashtag CRC12, uh, has a process uh, you know, of, of engagement around these questions as well. So really, that's my introduction. We have to, you know, we have to ask ourselves what kind of a, a philosophical debate uh, overshadows this. Do we want a libertarian space uh, where everything is free and copyright ceases to exist because that school of thought exists? It is a legitimate school of thought if that is what your belief is. Do we say then that you must have complete uh, regard only to the rights of copyright holders? That is a legitimate argument if that is your belief system. Or do we try to steer uh, a middle ground between you know, protecting cultural, creative music, gaming, you know, or any types of innovations that exist within the online community and try to strike a balance between the right to ownership and intellectual property and copyright and, and the right then to the freedoms of access to the internet uh, that, that are inherent and are now laid down uh, in you know, the Charter of Fundamental Rights and so on and are inherent within legislation. So that's really my, my, my starting point. I'm conscious of the time and I'm conscious that people want to speak. So I thank you. I thank you for coming really because um, it's, it's, I'm a bit nervous, I'll be honest with you, but it's, it's good to be here and thank you very much, okay?